to Manor, statistically one of the most meth-filled trailer parks in the country. This neighborhood is home to crime, poverty, and legends. From these humble beginnings, one of professional wrestling's greatest heroes emerged. Yeah. Because of my lineage and my fame, the way I carry myself, most people assume I'm from you know, Paris or Milan or something like that. Nope. Just outside of St. Louis. A little town called Fenton. St. Louis, just like the first ever Intercontinental Champion Harley race. Same thing. Doesn't look like it now, but this was our bus stop through grade school, most of the high school. It was right about there. I saw someone get stabbed when I was sophomore in high school. Okay, well, I didn't see him get stabbed. I walked up right after it happened. Kind of like when Dutch Mantel walked in right after Bruiser, Bruiser Brody got stabbed in Puerto Rico. Same thing. Up here, actually, this path. I can't believe this path is still here. We used to uh, come up here and hang out when we were kids. And there's a lot of stuff that like, yeah, there's a drug deal going on. We should kind of go away. There's a lot of drugs up there. Kind of like Jeff Hardy, Victory Road 2011. Uh, underneath that bridge, that's where a lot of stuff goes down. You can see some of the graffiti tags. A lot of drug deals. That's also where we would go to settle arguments. We'd fight, essentially. I'll never forget the time I walked up when this happened. Chuck, Marsh, uh, Chuck and Marshall were fighting. Chuck was a loud mouth and Marshall just had enough of it. Marshall had chucked down the ground. He really wanted to be pulled back for one mighty just shot, right? Last second, Chuck moves his head. Marshall smashes his hand down a rock. His hand shattered. He was in a cast for the rest of the time I knew him, at least until, until high school. That hand was destroyed. Just like when Cowboy Bob Orton's arm was broken and it was in a cast for several years. If memory serves, it was this wall right about here. Fifth grade, me and my best friend Joey had a falling out. Joey's old man passed away. He had the bottle, both drugs and alcohol for yard. We got into a big fight. I slammed him against the wall right there. Never talked again, really. I didn't have another friend in the neighborhood for five, six years. Best friend versus best friend. Just like when Triple H faced Shawn Michaels in SummerSlam 2002. Same thing. It was somewhere along this path. Uh, it was when I fought the Hugo brothers. Uh, I was about 12 or 13. I established I didn't want any part of the white trashes around here. Because I'm, you know, future prodigy. <coughs> and so, I find out these two brothers got my baby brother to smoke. And that's all the reason I needed. I hate these kids. It was Doug and Danny. So I see Danny somewhere around here, and I just go up to him. I start wailing on him. I see his little brother. He's playing down in the, here in the brush somewhere. I didn't know he was there. So I'm hitting Danny. I see Doug come up, kick him in the chest. He rolls back down the hill, goes straight back to Danny. You know, I say that braggingly, but I'll be honest with you. It was a little less Brothers of Destruction and a little more Bastion Brothers. Same thing. Whether it's overcoming adversity or winning the WFW Championship, Prodigy has always done what it takes to achieve greatness.